I'm the queen. It's cool now. <laughs> I'm not 100% for it because I don't know everything, but I only have a choice. We don't need Amazon here now. We don't need them here without subsidies. And we definitely don't need them here with $3 billion. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, he can afford it. It's absolutely disgraceful. So we are not giving up until we scuttle this deal, throw it in the garbage. As long as the customers are happy, it's okay. But the employees have to be happy in order to make the customers happy. The people have said enough is enough. 238 bids, 20 finalists, and in the end, New York and Virginia provided total incentives upwards of $2.8 billion. This is the largest economic development, 25,000 to 40,000 direct jobs. It's a great day for New York City. It's an extraordinary day for Queens. We want Amazon! No! We want Amazon! No! Right, Amazon may be having second thoughts about opening a new campus after a backlash from some New York politicians. Amazon is now bailing on its plans to build its second headquarters in New York. On February 14th, 2019, Amazon decided to cancel its plans to build one of its second headquarters in New York. In a statement, a spokesperson said, after much thought and deliberation, we've decided not to move forward with our plans to build a headquarters for Amazon in Long Island City, Queens. We've been following this story since the announcement in November. Standing right here would be the lobby. <laughs> to uh, the Amazon headquarters and tower. This is Councilman Jimmy Van Bremmer. He's one of the New York politicians who led the fight against the deal. Well, look at this Amazon. I have not seen that before. The fact that we would pay Jeff Bezos and give him the money to build his building should outrage everyone and is an absolute embarrassment. Some local politicians, including yourself, did sign a letter yep. last year inviting Amazon to consider right. New York. So what changed for you? When we signed on to that letter, which was a, a generic support for jobs, and I support jobs, the truth is we were held far away from this and as far away as they could possibly get us so that they could make an agreement in secret. That is so wrong. Despite Amazon's pledges of job creation and economic development, members of the community we spoke to were overwhelmingly concerned about the deal and what it meant for the future of Queens. The very same day this deal was being finalized, thousands of people here had no heat and hot water. Good to see you. Yeah, say what up to my homie. You good? Your heat comes in and on. One day, then it's gone. gone. How's everyone? How are you? I haven't had heat uh, since the weather got cold. Does Matt have all of your information? What's your full name? How do residents of Queensbridge feel about this announcement? You know, I think it's a mix. I think there are some who are opposed here, but I think there's also a desire to listen and to engage and to see if this might benefit this local community. But the people who need the most in Long Island City and in Western Queens were not at the heart of this negotiation. Queensbridge is the largest housing project in North America. It's less than a mile from where Amazon was planning to build. We met with a rapper who lives there to get his perspective. Yeah. How long have you lived in Queensbridge? Um, since I was in kindergarten. Uh, my music is about this community. The perspective of the projects kind of keeps us in a certain bubble. Because when people come here, sometimes they automatically think it's dangerous. They get this perception of the projects that I would like to have changed. It's beauty here, you know what I mean? When you heard about Amazon moving into Long Island City, what were your initial thoughts? I'm not 100% for it because I don't know everything, but I only have a choice, so you know, I'm, we all, we're all like, have to accept it. Amazon pledged to hold job training and recruiting events in Queensbridge, but some residents were skeptical. How long have you guys known each other? Uh, 15 years. Yeah. Who knows? We know each other. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm tired of knowing him. When did you start working for Amazon? Uh, about two months from now. It's definitely a good, uh, good paying job, a lot of good benefits. It helps a lot of people out. The commute is the only thing I really complain about because I got to get on the train, a ferry, another bus. This is just horrible. 
And so as someone who lives here in Queensbridge and then also works for Amazon, how did you feel when Amazon announced that their, one of their second headquarters is going to be just down the street? Typically, everybody that's in this project, not too many people is going to have degrees for their jobs, you know what I mean? So it's like they ain't really helping people from here, you know what I mean? I mean, regardless of, of something like Amazon moving here, Long Island City was already changing. Yeah, right? definitely. Definitely. It's yeah. been changing forever. Amazon already has a presence in New York. They have a warehouse in Staten Island that employs a significant number of workers. We're about to meet with someone as he travels for the night shift. Is this a job that you like? I did at one time. Okay. But not that much. Rashad is a picker at the Amazon Fulfillment Center in Staten Island. He's on his feet for the full 10 hour shift. What train are we taking? The Q. The Q to? To the R. To the R. To the ferry. To the ferry. To the bus. To the bus. We well, stand up all day. By the time we get home, your legs feel like rubber, your feet is on fire. Then I'm going to come back fully energized after I did all this traveling. And is this why you want to push to union? Yeah, because I feel like that for the workers, I feel like we need somebody, a union, just somebody to stand behind us and better than us. But they're not going to listen to what we got to say. Amazon's deal with New York inspired workers in Staten Island to push to unionize. They feel like their complaints about working conditions aren't being heard. How did you feel when you heard about Amazon moving to New York? They didn't consult with the people, and what they wanted in the neighborhood, all they seen was dollar signs and said, we're gonna give you this, you're gonna give us that, and we're gonna record the day. Not everyone was against the deal. For some, it was gonna be good for business. So from your perspective, Amazon moving into Long Island City is a good thing. It's a really good thing. I mean, I don't see how tw creating 25 to 40,000 jobs is really a bad thing. And so that building is one of the buildings that Amazon's so going to move So that building, the Citibank Tower, it's been yeah. here since 1988, and it was like the lone kind of like tower in the neighborhood. And so a year ago, they announced that they were leaving Long Island City. A bunch of restaurants on Vernon, their lunch business is relying on like Citibank employees. Five, 6,000 of their customers are leaving. Amazon came in and I look at it as like they came in and they saved the day for, for our neighborhood, really. So this is another one of our projects. Wow. Do you think rents are gonna go up significantly? Uh, no, I mean, will they go up? Eventually they'll go up but I don't, think, I don't think it's gonna happen for years. So this is a typical unit. Prior to Amazon News, we were negotiating. Um, we're not really negotiating at all anymore. What would you say to residents who are concerned about being displaced? The neighborhood was developing regardless if Amazon is gonna come here or not. It's a huge uh, benefit for all of Queens. And we've been in the shadow of Brooklyn for the last 10, 12 years. Um, so I have a little bit of a pride also. Come to Queens, <laughs> it's, it's cool now. <laughs> So are we even halfway? Yeah, halfway here. 25 minute cruise, go there, get a bed, sit down, relax. We get off the boat around 4.50. I gotta come with my mind ready to go. I gotta start picking quick so I can meet this 400 per hour. 400 an hour? So you're picking by the, in every shift, 4,000 things that are shipped off to people that have ordered them across. Well, wherever, throughout the world. They get one pack of pistachios. You send that they can go to the regular store box, but it's okay with me. You sit at home and just order. There's somebody behind that screen that got to pick this stuff up. You don't know what the, the physical demands, and we got to pick this up. It's almost 6 o'clock. We left Rashad's home with him at 3. So it took him nearly three hours to get to the warehouse, which is right across the street. And behind us, workers are lining up, waiting for the bus. They worked during the day, and now the night shift is starting. You can't expect to get so much and then expect progress to stop. Progress needs to continue. It's just the way of the world. We've seen neighborhoods become almost the exclusive domain 
of the well-educated and the well-paid. And I don't want that to be Western Queens. Following Amazon's decision, Councilman Van Bremer put out this statement. When our community fights together, anything is possible, even when we're up against the biggest corporation in the world. I am proud that we fought for our values, which is a fight for working families, immigrants, and organized labor. So what I don't get is we made an agreement with them. They, they chose New York City. We were kept keeping the agreement. Guess what? Some community activists wanted to see something else. And instead of an actual dialogue to try and resolve those issues, we get a call this morning saying we're taking our ball and we're going home. We are putting them in our past and we're moving forward. Amazon representatives declined our request for an interview for the story. They did not respond to our requests for comment.